um, coming past uh, the the Jeff Grubb hut, which was really nice. Stayed there last night. There were a whole bunch of people there, so I didn't uh, do a lot of video. But I met someone who was who was born in the same city I lived in in China for a year, which is kind of funny. It's a small world. And it's coming through the woods here. So, Sierra City is the next stop, probably tomorrow, but yeah, it's, I'm not going to make it to Sierra City today, but tomorrow probably. And feeling a lot better than yesterday. I think I, I don't know what was going on, but like I was having a lot of burping, which, and it, it tasted odd, so I think it was largely from eating too much food or something. Or bad food, but I didn't like get sick. I didn't have any other symptoms aside from just burping, and it wasn't like bad. But I felt a little off yesterday, so I feel a lot better today. Which is good. And we go. So I'm coming past uh, the the Jeff Grubb hut, which was really nice. Stayed there last night. There were a whole bunch of people there, so I didn't uh, do a lot of video. But I met someone who. Was, was born in the same city I lived in in China for a year, which is kind of funny. It's a small world. And it's coming through the woods here. So, Sierra City is the next stop, probably tomorrow, but yeah, it's, I'm not going to make it to Sierra City today. But tomorrow, probably. And feeling a lot better than yesterday. I think I, I don't know what was going on, but like, I was having a lot of burping, which, and it, it tasted odd, so I think it was largely from eating too much food or something, or bad food, but I didn't, like, get sick. I didn't have any other symptoms aside from just burping, and it wasn't, like, bad, but I felt a little off yesterday, so I feel a lot better today, which is good. And we've got great view looking back here towards Donner Pass. I don't even know what these peaks are. Over here. It's a lot, it's like, today it's just a, a lot of small climbs. Like 500 feet. We just past Snowbank Spring. Which is a beautiful little spring there. A little pipe. Really nice cold water. Just coming up our eyes here. a lot of these like I think these are called hoodoos when there's like rock that hasn't weathered that sort of retains its shape above like and gets eroded below like around the sides actually I don't think these are hoodoos I don't know what they're well this is uh, some kind of like pudding stone sedimentary rock caused by glaciers which is pretty crazy to think about like the landing pad right there. <laughs> you know. Here is a robin. You can kind of see him. He's right there. Sort of hopping around. Yeah, I think, yeah, there you go. Yeah, he's probably just trying to distract me. Let's probably look at this little campsite here. This is, I guess, Lacey Creek. On the way. On the, uh, on the trail here, Lacey Creek campsite. I'm take a little break. Just a light shower. I can see it's see it's over here coming across, but hopefully it's not gonna. It's definitely not gonna last very long. So passing through a forest, I think this is all like Jeffrey pine, red pine or something, and you can see a lot of moss on the trees. I guess they cleared out. A big section and back up there and replanted it because it had gotten sick or it was all like decaying wood so they cleared it out but it's definitely different than a lot of what I've gone through so I think I am gonna hit Sierra City today it's four o'clock I've got about 10 11 like 11 and a half miles I think and it's all downhill so 
I'll try to do some videos of this landmark so I can actually establish that I did indeed hike from Jeffrey, Je uh, Jeff Grubb shelter to Sierra City, which is like 34.9 miles. See here down to the lake. I don't know what lake this is called. It's definitely artificial. I know that there's a dam coming up. You can see how low the water level is. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty low. I don't know what it is normally, but a little rain coming in should help out with the drought so I've made it here to uh, 11 miles from that lake road and that over there that's Michelangelo over there so he's gonna go in he's he's going all the way in Sierra City too so we're both going in doing the 35 mile day so passing through this canyon here can't really can't big canyon walls that's sort of, sort of what that saddle, I guess, was, just coming up into the canyon. Oh, valley. So it's about six o'clock. I have about five miles from West Plum Road into Sierra City. Pass through this really nice meadow. Where do the birds are? Look at that pine cone, man. Somebody had a snack and a half out of that. Somebody enjoyed eating that. Looking down towards, I believe we loop right, go, go down here into the into uh, Sierra City. Uh, you know, a few more miles. So this I think is Milton Creek down here. Just that Milton Spring. It's very rocky. It's really pretty up in here. Really steep little canyon. I think I'm about two miles from the road now. So two miles from West Plum. Road, and then I think it's like a mile. Seriously, about a mile from the road, but I found this cool little campsite. I would like to stay here. You know, maybe somebody's taking the time to build some kind of wall here. You can see up in the cliffs there in the rocks, and there's a cool little wiki up somebody made. It's kind of cool. That's neat. You know, a little wookie up. So that over there is the dam. And all I know is to stay to the left here on the trail. It's getting dark. But that's the concrete dam. So I've done, I think, 31 miles to here. And then it's another, I think, like less than a mile to the road. So I'm almost done. <laughs> Ooh, I'm dropping the camera. So this is Wild Plum Road. So I've done a 30, like 32 miles today of trail. And now I got like, I think a mile, mile and a half into the little town of Sierra City. And I hope that this is the right way. <laughs> Cause this is a dirt road. <laughs> but I, I'm pretty sure it actually becomes paved in a little bit. Hopefully. Or I'll be lost. In so this is the trailhead on the road here. So I've, it's like nine o'clock. <laughs> I still have like a mile to walk. And so, night hiking with the phone.